Hey family. Hello, hello, hello. Hey everybody. How are you doing? Hello everybody. I am just uh, sending the link to everyone. Today we are on day one of our pre-marriage fast and we are repenting. We are repenting. So I'm just sending the link to everyone. Uh, I see Gamu is on here. Gamu, may you please copy and send the link to our WhatsApp group. Uh, same here on Facebook. I'm just going to copy and send it to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for joining. Um, let's get started. We do not have time to waste so basically guys welcome to the pre-marriage fast this fast came as a result of the lord telling me that he is getting ready to release marriages in fact to release a revival and when he has re for him to release a revival he needs the family unit to be operating well he needs the family unit to be dwelling in unity obviously so if we are going to have healthy families then we need healthy men and women which also results in happy kingdom marriages and families as a whole that is why we are on this fast and i'm excited that you are here with me we are fasting every single day from today up till the 14th of july we have prayer at 5 a.m. and right here it's uh, 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. daily because it's got to be intense like that in order for the kingdom of God to be established on the earth. So I'm going to just define what true repentance actually is. And repentance is generally a total turnaround and surrender. This is total surrender, surrendering all of our idols, repenting of all idols, everything that is not of God. And a lot of the times we actually idolize our loved ones. We idolize success. We idolize money, vanity. Nowadays, we even idolize self-care. We idolize TV. We idolize. Okay. Can you hear me? Please, if you can hear if you can't hear, please log out and log in again. If you can't hear, please log out and log in again. CC and Abby, can you guys hear me? Fantastic, fantastic. All right. So basically, you can idolize anything. Drug addiction, perfectionism, religion. It's a lot of things that we can really just idolize. And God just wants us to get to a place where we just surrender everything to him for he says in his word that you shall have no other god besides me god wants you and i to love on him and have nothing else no other god we repent of the things that we have been doing knowingly and unknowingly and just surrender ourselves to god and say lord please help me please help me there is a place where we ask god to be our refiner and help us to become everything that is created us to be in order for us to fully walk in the calling in the marriages to be healthy people in the marriages that he wants to give to us in fact to gift to us it's so important that we surrender ourselves we surrender our feelings our opinions and everything that is of us until we are totally surrendered we are like him the more we spend time the more we repent the more we actually become like him so i'm going to be praying and please do pray along please type in the comment section as i repent also repent of anything that comes in your mind just for control you can say we repent you know for adultery you know <laughs> you don't have to say i repent 
<laughs> so you just repent like that and we keep it going so we have the next 40 minutes to repent and ask god to deal with our hearts to deal with everything that is not of him that is on the inside of us is it pride is it feeling like we know everything is it stifling down other people's opinions when they actually want to help us and to assist us is it us being rude to our parents what is it really that we need to repent of that way we can truly be able to walk in this marriage in a healthy in a repented state so let's let's begin to pray father in the name of jesus this afternoon we come before you oh lord and we repent of everything that is not of you we repent of all forms of idolatry father i repent we repent oh god for putting other things ahead of you oh god on top of you oh god putting something as priority that is not of you is it our loved ones is it our families is it our jobs is it our hustles father we lay it all at your feet this afternoon father and we come before you father and we say we are sorry father for prioritizing finances for prioritizing ministry ahead of you for prioritizing the gift that you have given us ahead of you our giver and we repent and we say lord we are sorry from the deepest chambers of our hearts lord we want to apologize we want to come back before you and say lord forgive us oh god we really repent from the deepest chambers of our hearts and ask you to take us back again as you did with the prodigal son father we thank you for your love that we could never understand oh god thank you that you always remain with your arms wide open waiting for us oh god to come back home and today we come back home home to you oh god oh we honor you jehovah lord our god and before you we have come to bow oh god in the name of jesus we repent of all forms of idolatry in jesus name we repent of all forms of lust father when we lasted things that we're not supposed to even be watching oh god when we watched things that we're not supposed to watch father we ask that you forgive us oh god when we gave more time to netflix when we gave more time to soapies when we gave more time to other things that are not you and your kingdom father we repent in the name of jesus we repent for loving the gifts and not you our lord we repent for letting other things take your place and we are so sorry oh lord we repent for everything that we've worshipped in your place in the name of jesus father we repent for watching pornography when we are supposed to be studying the word oh god we repent in the name of jesus and we come back to you oh god God, that you may cleanse our minds in the name of Jesus we repent of complaining father when we were supposed to be bringing solutions oh God and all we did was bring complaints and strife and anger in every one of our workmates father we repent of complaining for that shows that we do not trust you oh God we do not trust your ability particularly to provide for us father I pray right now as we repent that father help us to trust in you may all of our trust be in you father not in our jobs because our jobs can literally end today an economic shift can happen and anything can happen but father we place our trust in you father we repent of putting our trust in chariots in horses in any other person that is not you father we repent of putting our trust in things such as bath souls, such as stones, such as the anointing oil, such as wristbands that are not actually you, Father. We pray that we may be focused on you and not on the gifts that you're giving to us in Jesus' name. May our hearts truly be sold out to you, Father. Please, Lord, we ask that you forgive us, oh God, for putting trust in anything, anything, anything that is not you, Father, for putting trust on the internet, oh God, for putting trust in Google. It may seem petty, but we repent for putting our trust in Google to search for dreams, for interpretations of dreams, instead of searching from your Holy Spirit who teaches us all things and reveals all things. Father, we repent in this moment in the name of Jesus. We repent of disobedience 
obedience towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time that we felt that we should delay, every time we procrastinated an instruction that you gave to us, Father, we repent in the name of Jesus when you told us to do one thing, but we did the other. When we became like Jonah, oh God, Father, today we take our stand and declare ourselves no longer souls, but poles who run with your vision, who run with your instructions in the name of Jesus. We replace, we, we, repent of mispraised place priorities in the mighty name of Jesus from procrastination oh God for the things that you told us to do now but we only did later father we ah my God we ask that you forgive us, oh God, for the books that you've placed in our hearts, for the ministries that you've placed in our hearts, for the things that we're supposed to give people in a certain time, for the clothes we're supposed to donate, for the fees that we're supposed to pay, for the less privileged. Father, we repent that we did not do it on time. And as we cut this call, Father, in the name of Jesus, we will do what you have assigned us to do in this time and in this season. Father, we pray, oh God, that you enable us and strengthen us, oh God, to be able to carry out your assignment in the name of Jesus without overthinking for the times that we doubted, oh God, that we were qualified, oh God, to carry out your assignment, to speak your words, to prophesy, to write books, to preach the gospel. Father, we ask for your forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent for the pride of our hearts, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the pride that so consumes us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus that we cannot seek advice oh god when we actually need advice the pride that causes us to think that we're more important than other people and therefore we've chased people away from the church because we felt we we're too important we're too self-righteous we are the ones that are without sin but thank you father for your grace because we're only here because of your grace we repent of the spirit of self-righteousness feeling like it is because of our works that we are here that we've been qualified by our works we repent father from questioning your will in the name of jesus we repent of holding on to things that you told us to let go of particularly in the same area that we're praying for which is the area of relationships when we felt that we needed to hold on yet you asked us to let it go in the mighty name of jesus father we repent even in this moment oh god for rebellion to towards our parents we ask you father that you would forgive us oh god for the times that we answered them in a way that does not represent who you are in the mighty name of jesus father we repent in jesus name oh help us father for being selfish when we had enough and plenty but we chose to not give to other people father we ask that you forgive us oh god that you may give us hearts of generosity remove that heart of stinginess oh god where we just decide to not give to people because we are over budget what will I eat? What will I do? But Father, you have promised in your words that you give us everything, oh God, that we should not worry, oh God, for you give us our daily bread in the name of Jesus. We repent, Father, of all forms of anger, wrath, and hatred towards your people in the mighty name of Jesus, especially as women in this call. Father, we repent from the spirit of gossip where we are constantly gossiping other people, constantly mudslinging other people, constantly saying saying false things about other people behind their back. Father, in the name of Jesus, we repent even in this moment, oh God, of all forms of jealousy for those times that we we're jealous because our friend got a promotion, yet we prayed with them. Father, rid us of the pride of this world. Rid us of jealousy in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we want to become more and more like you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to represent you, oh God, to really be true ambassadors of who you are not of who we are father that is we spend time with you we may become more and more like you father we may become more and more like you in the name of jesus father may gossip never come out of our mouth let the only words that come out of our mouth be words of blessing and prayer for other people in the mighty name of jesus we repent oh lord from spending time on the internet rather than in your presence in the mighty name of jesus 
Jesus, for seeking consultations from life coaches on the internet, rather than going back to you, who is the author and finisher of our lives, the one that knows our purpose. Father, we repent in this moment. We repent of envy in the name of Jesus. May you help us to be content, Father, for every time that we're not grateful for what you've blessed us with. Father, we repent in Jesus' name for sowing division amongst family members, for sowing division amongst the ministries in the mighty name of Jesus. For sowing division amongst our siblings. Father, we repent in the mighty name of Jesus. For for arguing, oh God, for fighting with other people unnecessarily, for causing strife between people, for just causing division. Father, we repent in the name of Jesus and we ask that you would help us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. May we become more, refine us, oh God, pierce us, oh God, break us down, break us, restructure us, mold us again, be the porter, oh God, we are the clay in your hands, make us who you desire for us to be oh god in the mighty name of jesus we don't want to just become those other people that do not walk in your plans for our lives oh god but people that are melted and molted and formed by you into everything that you created us to be in the name of jesus father we repent from cursing oh god and from using your name in vain in the name of Jesus we ask you Lord to help us Jehovah Lord our God help us to not be ones that are sowing division father help us not to be the ones that are casting oh God due particularly to the movies and the content that we consume father we ask that you help our mouths oh God to know that we are testaments of you father and everything that we say is a representation of who you are and father we repent for the time that we were not good examples oh god for every time that we can say father we would never be able to profess like what paul says that follow me as i follow christ for every time that we led people into the wilderness into a deep deep hole father we ask for your forgiveness oh god and we ask father that everyone that we may have misled father bring them back to your kingdom in the mighty name of jesus we ask for wisdom that comes from you father that we may not walk according to our own thoughts our own feelings our own opinions but according to your word oh god according to the prophecies given of our lives in the mighty name of jesus we repent from trusting false teachings father the times that we have followed false teachings and false prophecies simply because we chose not to spend time in your presence and to seek more of your word to hear more from you to hear your desires to hear your heart to tap into everything that you want for us in this life in the mighty name of jesus father we repent even from doing sexual experiments oh god we repent from all forms of homosexuality from lusting other women from lusting other men from desiring to be with men while we are men from desiring to be with women while we are also women and we ask in the name of jesus that you remove that ah shakaka <laughs> remove that desire from our hearts father in the mighty name of jesus and restore us to our desired sexual orientation in the mighty name of jesus we subject our mind to you father that our mind is not taken by the culture of this world father but we continue to represent you father knowing that we are not of this world we are just passing by this world and we cannot be consumed and be conformed by the Egypt lgbtq plus movements and also want to condone and be a part of that but we stand for your truth father for the times that we chose to not stand for your truth because we were scared of what people would say for the times that we saw that something was wrong and we decided to keep quiet yet you told us to say something about it father we repent in the mighty name of jesus help our bodies oh god we repent in the mighty name of jesus of all forms of fornication father for going for sleep of us in the name of jesus when you had said that we're supposed to be at all night prayer meetings but we found ourselves at sleep of us oh god we repent in the name of jesus we ask you father to cleanse us with your blood in the mighty name of jesus 
we repent from all forms of sexual immorality from sex outside of marriage father we repent in jesus name help us oh god help us oh father that today we as we repent we may not go back to where we came from in the mighty name of jesus but we may move forward walking forward in the faith in the grace that you're giving us in this day we repent from loving and spending time with other people's husbands that we're not supposed to be spending time with father for being home wreckers father we repent and we thank you father for you ah for your grace father thank you father that you're forgiving us even in this day for the times oh god that we desired money so much that wherever it came from we didn't even care all we wanted was the money so we took whatever measures it took to actually get that money because we didn't trust that you lord would provide for us in ways that we can never understand and i pray in this moment oh god asking on behalf of everybody who is on the score everybody watch this video father that you forgive us oh god read us of every fleshly desire that does not satisfy you oh god every lake of trust that causes us to do things that are not according to your will and your word in jesus name we re we repent of lying and dishonesty father in the mighty name of jesus for every time that we lied we're going somewhere and we're actually going somewhere for every time that we're dishonest with our finances oh god every time that we thought we didn't need to tithe because it's an old testament thing every time that we were not consistent in even giving your money to you which is our tithe father we ask for your forgiveness oh god in the mighty name of jesus we repent father from being dishonest at our workplaces oh god instead of actually giving more excellence and sowing into our workplaces where we work and our bosses for taking money for stealing money for stealing goods for stealing resources father we pray that you help us to not be those people but take us to the next level of faithfulness of integrity being lukewarm for being lukewarm for backsliding father when we're supposed to be spending time with you we're doing other things and in the end we ended up actually backsliding for being lukewarm not being hot or cold we're just somewhere in the middle and we ask father as hot in the mighty name of jesus once again may we burn for you oh god we want to burn for you oh god we want to be on fire for you oh god because we know that when you're on, we are on fire for you father even the people around us also begin to be on fire in the mighty name of jesus father we repent of all forms of fear that crippled us for we know that your perfect love cast out fear god is love and the one who lives in love lives in god and god lives in him now that you live in us father thank you father you that you're reading us of all forms of fear and we're walking in you in the mighty name of jesus we repent of all forms of doubt oh god doubt in the gifts that you have placed on the inside of us doubt of everything father that you've purposed for us and belief in who you are in your capabilities for limiting you oh god we repent for limiting you to what we have seen in the past and not trusting that you can actually heal cancer that you can actually change our financial situation that you can actually turn around our story and give us a new story that you can actually turn around our lives for the greater good in the mighty name of jesus we repent father we repent from being unloving and rejecting others in the mighty name of jesus father we are father you have loved us with an everlasting love who are we to not give your love to other people and in this moment we repent father of not being able to actually give that same love that you have given us without a price without measure and unending love that we can never understand that we cannot resist that we can never comprehend that same love father we ask that you forgive us oh god thank you father even for this time that we've had in your presence oh god that father even as we repent for putting other men's opinion before your word before your word for prioritizing somebody else's opinion outside of your opinion father we repent in the name of jesus help us father help us god to prioritize what you say what you speak what you prophesy the dreams that you give us the word that you give us the word 
word that is in your word, the written word, the Logos, the rhema word that you give us, oh God, help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for forgiving us, even in this moment for not going all out for the gospel, for the times that we slagged, for the times we thought we're doing enough and there's never enough for the kingdom of God. Father, we just repent in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Father, to be more and more like you. Refine us, Holy Spirit. Refine us, oh God. Try us in your fire. Thank you for your blood that speaks better things. Thank you for your blood that actually sanctifies us, which means that it separates us. It sets us apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your blood that speaks better things than that of Abel. It speaks better things than that of everything that we have ever done in this life. And thank you for your love that nothing can ever separate us from your love. And we return back to you, oh God. We're just coming back to you in this moment and asking for your total forgiveness oh god as we surrender to you we lay down at your feet oh our master and we ask that you would forgive us oh god take us back to a place of koinonia a place of fellowship with you father for we understand that you hate the sin but you love the sinner thank you father that you have loved us oh god and we pray that you rid us of all forms of sin oh god that our mindset our mentality may be fixated on you father and that we may not be consumed in trying to get the next gig trying to get the next money the next boyfriend the next job the next this the next church that so much that we lose sight of who you are we lose sight of intimacy of who you are and lose sight of what you actually want for us in this season in the mighty name of jesus Thank you, Father, that this fast is already successful as we have laid everything that is not of you at your feet, Father. Oh, we love you, Father. We, we acknowledge your name in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. Thank you that you have redeemed us. You have brought us back with the blood of Jesus Christ. Not that we deserved it, oh God, but even before the foundations of the earth, Christ was already a plan that you had in mind for us, oh God. Thank Thank you for Jesus Christ, whom you prepared for us, oh God, a sacrificial lamp, humble unto death, just for me and everybody that's on this call, for me and the whole world, oh God, thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus. The man was without sin or blemish, but yet because of him, we're reunited with you, the Father, because even in that day when he died, on the cross, the curtain tore where previously only the priests could enter and have communion with you in the Holy of Holies. Now we have access, direct access to you through this Jesus Christ. And we thank you for the gift of Jesus Christ that because of him, because of this man, because... Ah, because of this savior we can stand we can declare that we have a lord and savior we have a man that loves us with an incomparable in understandable love that because of him the cat and toe and therefore <clears throat> we can be in direct fellowship with you and therefore we can love on you and therefore we can speak with you and therefore we can become more and more like you because we understand that as moses went up that mountain in that day when he came down his face was so bright he was shining you had rubbed off on him and because of this act of ah, because of this act of repentance that we have done, we are now in koinonia with you. We are now in communion with you. And because we are in communion with you, we have become more... <laughs> we've become more and more like you father strengthen our inner men strengthen our spirits that they may be able to overcome our flesh that is our flesh is stifled father we may cease to walk in the way of the flesh but we may walk in the ways 
fruits of the spirit as we walk in the spirit we bear fruit of the spirit not fruit of the flesh and this marriage that we are praying for comes from as a fruit of the spirit and we receive this fruit even today before we've gone through the rest of the days but because we have received and even may you just take a moment to just thank the lord may you just take a moment to thank god for jehovah for jesus christ for yeshua for all that he's actually doing in our lives for everything that he is for the sacrifice of jesus we want to thank you father we want to thank you lord we want to thank you jehovah lord god for the sacrifice of jesus there is nothing that we could do that could compare to that sacrifice of a man who came just for us, just for us. And because of him, we are redeemed. We don't have to keep paying for the sin over and over and over and over again, but it was paid once and for all. And we thank you, Father, for this Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things, shows us the way how to live, our comforter, our confidant in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we love you and we honor you in Jesus' name. We celebrate you, yes. Joa, we love you so much, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, family, for joining this prayer call. I pray that you are blessed. Uh, tonight we are meeting and we're going to be celebrating Jesus. We're going to be celebrating everything that he has done for us and for just loving us so much that he continues to take us back home when we feel we don't deserve it, but because of his love, that is overflowing, that we don't understand, that we can't comprehend. We love him and we thank him for that in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, family. Remember, we are praying for godly marriages uh, up to the 14th of July. God is going to do something amazing, an overflow of testimonies, an overflow of the grace of God in this area of marriage as God wants to release a revival on the earth and by so doing he has led us onto this fast that we may prepare ourselves us the women us the men individually so that when we come together we represent him and therefore revival starts in our families and spreads to the ends of the world I love you so much family and I appreciate you Thank you. Uh, have an amazing day. Oh, amazing. I see someone, Walter is connecting from Port Harcourt, which is really amazing. Okay, I'll keep talking and talking, but I love you so much. Let's continue pushing. Let's continue praying, even as we prepare for what the Lord is about to do. I love you so much, guys. Let us meet tonight at 9 p.m. and tomorrow at 5 a.m. Love you so much. Bye. Mwah.